Doombots and Marauders. ISO 8s. Let's go. So, um, this is another team, primarily a war defense team, but has a lot of extra value, especially in things like U7, uh, some Greek raids, Dark Dimension. Uh, a lot of these characters stand out. I'm going to build uh, this team's ISO 8s, which makes the team better for you here, uh, and we'll leave out uh, the details of what how to use independent characters or for other content this team first and foremost is a war team whether it be offense or defense so you uh turns out doesn't really matter which side you're on both make the most sense starting with mr sinister he doesn't do damage actually none of his attacks except his basic does damage so and it doesn't have any utility so increasing the damage isn't that relevant uh, going to his special no damage at all going to his clone no damage at all and obviously nothing from his passive striker useless and by the same definition so is raider you know he's not damaging he's not hitting he's not gonna proc so that leaves only three fortifier uh which is fine healer which is great and skirmisher which isn't as terrible as some people think Starting Skirmisher would only proc on these two, Clone and Psionic Beam. Gene Therapy uh, doesn't do anything to the opponents, so it wouldn't uh, on-hit anything. Even like It doesn't even put a debuff or clear a buff or something, so it's not going to do much. So Skirmisher is good for these two. Clone doesn't happen often enough. Psionic Beam might be worth it. Skirmisher is a decent option. Like I said, Fortifier... It's good to keep him alive, but he does a pretty decent job of keeping himself alive, especially because this ability says heal 15% of max health plus 5% of max health per Marauder. Since this is a heal, uh, it can potentially get stronger. Uh, it's an active heal. It's something that happens. It's not a passive heal like uh, a regen stack. So it can be better. And of course, gene therapy is a heal. Uh, so it will increase the overall active healing of this. So for me, it's just kind of a no-brainer. Sinister gets healer. Move on. There's really no other reason to have a conversation. Uh, moving to Sabretooth. Uh, Sabretooth is the damage dealer on the team. You can justify quite literally anything with Sabretooth uh, that is damage. You could do Striker uh, to make sure that when he does hit a target, even though he is multi-hitting, you can hit uh, the target again. And it can be quite a bit of damage. You can do Raider like I did because uh, most of his attacks are hitting multiple targets with the exception of Claw Rake. Uh, that is a single target. So you might uh, be able to put a, quite a decent chunk of uh, vulnerables on it. And then we have Feral Healing. Uh, this chance to assist on non-attack abilities. Because this is an assist, uh, it can work with Skirmisher. So you can put Skirmisher on him to make sure that his assists are constantly putting buffs or removing buffs on. I think Skirmisher is a very, very good option on most Sabertooths. I led the way of crit because my Sabertooth is incredibly high red stars, incredibly high investment. I just like my Sabertooth doing as much damage as possible. One thing I will say is that the Marauders don't actually have much damage as a team. They have sustainability, so I do like to make sure that my Sabretooth does a ton of damage and uh, gets through, so I have crit on him, but I think Skirmisher is a totally reasonable option for Sabretooth. Uh, as for Emma Frost, this is the point of contention for a lot of people. Uh, nobody is making arguments for Raider at all, and nobody is making arguments for uh, Fortifier. She is good enough on her own. The two major arguments people get is Striker for her basic um, or Healer uh, for sustain. Now, Striker for her basic is situationally incredibly useful because, much like Venom, whenever she hits a target, the second hit will also flip or remove positive effects, making her insane. Uh, can be relevant. The one reason I don't like Striker is one, it only affects this ability, the other two don't make any difference. The increase in damage does not fundamentally help her in any way. Uh, at that point, I would argue that Skirmisher might be a little bit better because then Diamond Form and Turn the Tables uh, both put a vulnerable stack on the target 
and then the assists that come from that attack uh, that she might use later will do the same thing. It'll also remove buffs. And again, while sometimes it flips buffs, sometimes it won't. And yes, you do have some control over it, but not as much as you would like. So if you're in you know charged form, it only removes the buffs anyway. I, I think either of those makes sense. I like Skirmisher a little bit more than Striker because I think that getting the batted benefit of Diamond Form, putting a vulnerable and turn the tables, putting a vulnerable in general is just more impactful. Uh, I don't think that her getting multi hits, even if it is removing more buffs, is that relevant. It might be situationally relevant. I still don't think it's that good. Uh, I tend to use Healer on her. Uh, she has a pretty decent health pool uh, for what it's worth. Again, her damage stat isn't great, and she only does one attack that does damage. And I do like the idea that she's throwing out not heals not only to other people, but to herself, especially for soloing. And anyone who's ever tried to beat a solo Emma knows that healer on Emma makes her sustainable. I just think that in all game modes on this team, giving her the ability to throw out heals and making her sustainable as well as other people, uh, incredibly relevant. But like I said, I see... I think it's like Healer, Skirmisher, and then all the way at the bottom is Striker, uh, just in general. So, maybe you might have a different opinion. Uh, comment below, let me know. So, Strife. Um, so, Strife, uh, he does some stuff. Yeah, honestly, I, I don't think there's a right or wrong choice on Strife. He... Healer on Strife is a reasonable choice. He has a decent health pool, uh, and he can sustain very well. Fortifier on Strife, I think, is kind of a little bit of a hat on a hat, if pardon the expression. You know, like, he's already giving himself quite a bit of uh, barriers through his own actions and other players' actions or characters on his team's actions. So I, I don't think that he needs more of a barrier. But, you know... Maybe if he's really, really strong, the barrier does make a difference. I, I've never seen a strife with barrier that I was like, shucks, that one's a problem. Uh, Raider is reasonable on him. Uh, this attack is a multi-attack. This one isn't. Uh, and crit doesn't make too much of a difference. Skirmisher uh, is somewhat reasonable. Like I said, this doesn't really do anything. It's a single target. Um, striker is what I have on him just to increase the amount of damage he does and the potential to get multiple attacks in when it comes to things like Nullifying Blast or Strike. Uh, I don't think there's anything that's particularly amazing on Strife. I don't think there's anything that's particularly terrible on Strife. Um, I think that I have Striker on him. I don't regret it, but I also don't feel like if you don't put Striker on him, you're doing it wrong. I think he's just kind of a lead into whatever you have you have high red stars make him do more damage if you have low investment maybe the shield is relevant you know that kind of thing uh, and last but not least we have mystique on the team um, it's like skirmisher and there's really no other way to describe it uh striker she doesn't actually do much damage on her own uh so not a big deal uh healing she has a pretty decent health pool but not great by any stretch of the imagination fortifier Again, not great by any stretch. Uh, Raider is reasonable. Mimic Strike will hit multiple times. Um, well, at least one to two. If Magneto's an ally, it, it hits three, but you're not using Magneto anymore. Infiltrate hits multiple targets. Uh, therefore, Raider is very reasonable. Shapeshifter, uh, you're probably not going to crit on the main attack on Shapeshifter. But again, Shapeshifter is not the, the reason you do this attack. So I think Raider on her is great. As a matter of fact, looking at it from the other perspective, if you were to put Skirmisher on Sabretooth uh, and Raider on Mystique, that is a another great option. Um, but you do want to have someone with Skirmisher on them, on this team. So I do think that basically you just look at her and Sabretooth as the two sides of the coin. One gets Raider, one gets Skirmisher, and you just kind of move around. Now they both have chances to assist, but since Sabretooth assists more, Skirmisher might make a little bit more sense on him. She will constantly hit people multiple times, so maybe Striker is, or Raider is better on her. It, it's truly up to you uh, on where you go and where the investment is. Now, I have her on Striker because she's lower investment than my Sabretooth. 
doesn't mean it's right or wrong just means what i ended up doing but it's really nice to have that option to know where it is plus i think that standalone characters like uh, i think Sabretooth is better as a damage dealer than mystique is so i do like that especially if i'm using them on teams with like the regular brotherhood i think that that just makes a little bit more sense um, but that's pretty much it for the M Rodders, comment below let me know where yours line up and if you agree with what i'm you know kind of saying about the saber tooth mystique setup or strife being kind of a wide open uh, category anyway have a good night have a great day i've been tony skinjali and i'll catch you later